Hello, I'm Michelle. Welcome to Michelle's Island Kitchen. Today I'd like to say thanks to our sponsors, Pineapple Gourmet at www.pineapplegourmet.com. Telephone number 703-250-3350 and Market to Market at Reagan Building, 1300 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C., 202-289-4710. Just like the Washington, D.C. metro area, the island of Jamaica is a very diverse and influenced by many cultures. The culinary history is heavily influenced by the Spanish, the English, the Asians, and the food is varied and colorful as the people. Lots of flavors, spices, sensational taste. In today's show, our special guest is Chef Joho Lee. Chef Joho was born in Seoul, Korea, where he grew up. His experience with cooking came in the South Korean Army. He migrated to the USA 10 years ago, where he continued to hone his skills working in some of DC's finest restaurants. He spent some time with, at Restaurant Noor at the Ritz Carlton Tyson's Corner, Maestro Restaurant, and now he's the executive chef at Gourmet Group. Joe and I worked together, and so we're no strangers. Welcome, chef. Hi, how are you? My name is Juho Lee. Hi, Michelle. Hi, so what are you going to be making for us today? Yeah, uh, today I'm going to make uh, like three course meal, but first course is going to be green shrimp salad. But wow. three course meal is like a lot of things to do, but don't worry about it. Super simple, simple recipe. And you I know you're together. a great chef, and he's so fast in the kitchen, so I know he'll be whipping through this like, like a tornado. Right. Okay, so, so what we're gonna let's just start the cooking. Uh, I'm going to marinate the shrimp first. Okay. This is very simple, cook marinated. Mm. I'm going to grab some cilantro. Okay. Is cilantro something you use a lot in um, Korea? Actually, we use it a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I know the Spanish uses it a lot. Yeah, I know. I just started using it in cooking. And Vietnamese and, and Thai, uh, Thai oh, people. Oh, they use a lot huh? in Thai. Okay. And a little bit of cilantro. Mm -hmm. and, and lime zest. Okay, that's some of my favorite thing to do. It's like a very similar with the German, uh, German jerk seasoning. Yeah, the zest of lemon. But this time I'm not going to put the spices one okay. because uh, my dressing is going to be a little bit spicy. Okay. So we're just going to add the lemon. And also lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And I guess the acid in the lemon will cook that shrimp even right. a bit too and soften it up. And a little bit of peppers. Okay. And a little bit of salt. Then olive oil. Okay. Okay, that's, that's pretty easy. Uh, I already marinate the shrimp. Okay. But you can marinate so like a, at least 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you marinate too longer, the shrimp is going to be cooked yeah. by the, the acid in the exactly. lemon. Exactly. Okay. So I don't want to marinate it too long. Too long. Alrighty. So, so you have here some jumbo shrimp, right? Yeah. Okay, these Michelle, look good. Can you grill the shrimp? For sure. Time? I'll grill these off for you. Make that. So Joe and I used to work together at the Ritz Carlton, and we were, we had a lot of fun because he he did a lot on the grill. He didn't want me to work the grill too much because he said <laughs> that oh it's too much heat for me. So he's a guy. I know he's asking me to grill. Isn't that funny? So right. we're gonna be grilling off. But, um, but sometimes she's too busy. I mean I I just sweat too much. So you bring the, the cold water. You <laughs> Yeah, when, we, when we're cooking in the kitchen, right. sometimes I go get the fresh lemon juice and water so we can stay cool because trust right. me, working Michelle, in that commercial kitchen is not easy. Right. Okay. Michelle, I'm going to make the dressing. Okay. It's uh, like a honey wasabi dressing. All right. It's, it's very simple dressing too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of light wasabi. I like that. Where you got that? Yeah. Uh, if you go to like Asian market, you mm -hmm. can find it easily. Okay. It's so I guess H-Mart would have that. Right. So it's in Definitely. a tube and it's just like a pureed wasabi. Oh, this yeah, is cool. Yeah. They don't have to it's light right wasabi. Here. It's a little lighter than regular wasabi. Okay, so that's good. So we have the wasabi. Right. Mm -hmm. Then uh, orange zest. Okay. Smells good already. Mm. All right. This is the, this, the greatest thing to have. Yeah, this zest I love it. it. Yeah, I love using it I too. I can cook without this. Yeah, even with garlic. I use it with garlic. Just shred the garlic on it. Also, if you're in the favorite in nutmeg, you can do that too. Oh, yeah. Right. And lime, yes. Okay. 
So you see, if you, if you have your lemon and your lime, you can make a whole thing of zest and dry it out and store it, right? Yeah, you can do that. And the lemon. Mm, that smells so good. And if I wanted, I could add some jerk spice to this dough and make a jerk shrimp, right? Right. But since you have all that good stuff, we won't bother spice it up too much. Oh, look at it. It's nice and plump. You see it's starting to change color? Right. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of... Some of the orange juice. Orange juice. Okay. Lime juice. Mm-hmm. And it's starting to plump here. You want it, when you're doing shrimp, you want to press it to see, make sure it's firm. Right. And you don't want to overcook the shrimp, so I guess we just give it a few minutes and on the grill. The lemon zest. So you have your lemon zest, your orange, and a bit of wasabi, honey. and some honey. Oh, that's really good. Okay. So like citrus is going to be like uh, vinegar. Mm -hmm. from this dressing so. okay and for these recipes you can go to the website at www.pineapplegourmet.com and download all these recipes okay I need to go olive oil That's it. And you can put yeah. a little bit of salt, peppers, to peppers, okay. and salt. And when you stream in the olive oil, usually sometimes people tend to put it in too fast and it breaks. It's going to be breaking, it. so you have to pour very, very slowly. Slow. Right. That's the key. Okay. Right. So. I think these are ready. So ready. These look good. They, they look good. Yeah. All right. Wow. Then I'm going to slice of cucumber. This is like Japanese. Have we ever seen before? Yeah, the mandolin? Uh huh. Okay. All right. See, I don't have one at home, but I need to get one. In the kitchen, we call like Japanese mandolin this one. Right. But if you change it, like there, be, there are so many different kind of blades. Blades, yeah, yeah. That's but, a good thing to have. Right. And I'm gonna slice some cucumber, Michelle. Mhm. Mm you using English cucumber? English cucumber, okay. because uh, you can there isn't There's that no much seeds. Seed. Right. Yeah. Wow, this is nice. Look at this. It's right. like a ribbon. Right. Very thin. Wow, this is nice, Joe. Oh. Misha, so can you bring the plate for me? Okay. okay. Thank right. you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the little the mold, like a okay. roundy shape, uh -huh. like this. Wow, that looks good. Let me turn these over. I don't want them to burn. Something like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it very easy to make this. Nice presentation. But I like presentation. But like right. people like eating like a fine dining restaurant. Yeah. So. And like we always say, we eat with our eyes first. All right. Food for the fun and full of flavor. So yeah, we're gonna yeah. have fun with food, and we're gonna make sure that we have a whole that's lot right. of flavor, bold flavors. That's what I'm about, bold flavors. Right. And that's one of the things I like about Caribbean cooking is that we use a so lot of colorful, spice right? and it's colorful. But the thing about it is that the influence of the Asian and right, then the right. English. I'm surprised so you guys use yeah. lots of ginger and soy yeah. sauce. All of that stuff together, and we we get that blend of. The, where you we always talk about fusion cooking. All right. That's exactly what it is right. today. We're doing a fusion cooking. Here you so go. So you have mixed mm. green. Yeah, this is like a nice organic mixed green. Yeah. So I'm grab some little bit. So you I'm dress gonna... that already with your um. No, not yet. Oh, you dress it's it later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're gonna just mount it in. Like Look at a little garden going on there. Exactly. Wow, that's pretty. Yes. That's uh, his thing, you know. That's his specialty. He's like an artist. When he cooks, he put a lot of colors and a whole lot of style. We used to have a lot of fun in the kitchen. Wow. Right. And you give it a tomato. <laughs> Oh, I like the plum tomatoes. Those are nice. Now let's take these off. Yeah, I think, I think our, I think our shrimp are ready. Perfect. Wow, these look 